ericiboy, ericiboy.com and today I'm presenting you all of this, the Sherpa kit by Freewell. So what is that? Well, this is a kit of accessories for your iPhone Series 13 or Series 14, 13 Pro and Max, 14 Pro and Max, okay? Well, what do you get in there? Well, you get a case for your iPhone, you get uh, you, you can get a grip that is also a selfie stick, you have a nanomorphic lens, you have different filters here, I've got the uh, circular polarizer, the VND one to five stop, and also the mist filter, diffusion filter. So I'm going to show you everything and explain what it can do for you, how it can help you better your video or your uh, photography or give different style or, well, you'll see. So let's start. So the masterpiece of the system is the case because this is where you're going to place everything, okay? So this case will, uh, protect your iPhone you have to indicate what size is your iPhone I mean the size the model okay that's fine uh, telling the model they know what size it is okay the button there are real buttons that uh, connect to the other button below okay your iPhone button so that works fine uh, yeah I would say, and here there is this piece of metal that is the key because this is where you're going to place the magnetic filters or where you can place the anamorphic lens okay so that works just fine if we look at the side well, that's okay. The touch is fine, but I honestly don't like the back. It's too slippery. Okay. It protects well, but it's too slippery. And there's only one color, just, just this color. So I wish I had other option. Maybe they will in the future uh, with different touch or different finish or different colors. Okay. Uh, important in there, you have the, the system, the wireless charging uh, circle here. So this is completely compatible, but uh, for a daily case, I don't like it for uh, using with the uh, system that's fine it works fine it's perfect it's solid it's fine it's precise really nice that part okay by the way if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so the small button on here is a small bell to get notified when i upload a new video that really helps me so thank you so let's carry on i think the biggest problem with making video photography with a smartphone is the way to hold the smartphone this is not really practical it's a bit difficult so Freewell has created this uh, grip, which is fantastic. It has uh, several things. First, you can put a, a microphone on top or a LED light or whatever. Here you have uh, to be able to uh, put on a tripod like here right now. I place it on the tripod. This is a standard uh, base. Okay, so easy, perfect. Okay, then when I place it, I can also trigger via Bluetooth. There is a Bluetooth uh, trigger here. Okay, so let's place it. Uh, let's place my phone. If I want to uh, simply uh, use it to hold like this, okay, I can hold it like this. But probably I want to hold it differently. So this way, I can hold it like this, which is really practical. And if I want, I can also pull. And I've got a selfie stick. So if I want to record myself or uh, record something that is a bit higher, this is really practical. In this case, the trigger will end up here, so that's not practical. So you just pull on it here, you place it here. This is magnet here. I think the magnet could be a bit stronger, honestly. Okay, it, it didn't fall, but I feel it could. Okay, and then you have uh, the trigger on your thumb here. So you can uh, put it the way you want. Okay, so this is really a brilliant, uh, I'll call that holder grip. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you call it, but. Uh, really a really nice OED to hold better and uh, have more steady shot uh, or a steady video so this is really a great uh, uh, thing this uh, this uh, handle yeah let's call it handle grip whatever okay fantastic now i'm going to show you the filter system well they all work the, the three they work the same way i've got the vnd one to five stop the diffusion filter mist filter and a circular polarizer okay and uh, they have more filters, there are more to come, and they already have some more uh, existing filters, okay? So this is really a great idea. So I, I get only one of them to show you how they all work the same way. I get one, they all come in a plastic box like this, really nice, really well protected. They all have a cap, as you can see, and they work in a magnetic way, okay? So I just place it here, and that's it, it's placed, okay? Uh, one, well, two things, first, uh, what's fantastic is that this is uh, uh, the size for the filter. It means it doesn't, doesn't matter which iPhone you have, the 13 or the 14 or future iPhone, uh, you just change the case and this will fit. 
In case uh, Apple will change the way their uh, lenses, uh, the size or the way they are placed, okay, exactly, or the distance between them, the good thing, you can actually unscrew this. You have four screws here and uh, Freewell would make a specific metal part here. You would just have to place it back on the system and you could keep using your filters. So this is fantastic. When I place it here, this is magnetic. As you can see, it's really easy. I remove the cap and that's it. One small problem. I think uh, Freewell could better. You have the name of the filter. It's written CPL just here, okay, on the side. But when I place uh, the cover, uh, I cannot see it anymore, okay? So that would be brilliant to write it in the back here. So uh, this way, when I've got all my filters, I can know straight away which filter it is. I don't have to think or uh, try to uh, remove this and know exactly what it is, okay? That would be a good idea, okay? So now I uh, show you an example of how the uh, polarizer works. Trying the circular polarizer, CPL. And as you can see on this water that's going down the road, Yes, you get less reflection, depends when you're on maximum polarizing. I think it's around here, okay? So you see the effect. Now sitting at the steel wheel, I want you to check here. There's some ref a piece of, uh, of the car that's getting reflected. Also this black part, plastic and the road, okay? I keep turning, okay? You see there is less rosacea right now. So it's more reflection here, more here, the road also. And then when I get to maximum polarization, look at you it almost disappeared the reflection here okay, on the on the on the glass the road this is really dark so you really see the effect of uh, polarizing okay testing a polarizer uh, on a green uh, vegetation here in nature uh, yes i think at maximum uh, polarization i'm turning all the time okay we do appreciate uh, a bit more contrasty colors a bit more saturated but I, what I really love is that at the top left, when we see the cloud, the color is not changing depending on polarization, which is a, a good sign of a good quality polarizer. As you can see, this is really effective. Now I show you the VND 1 to 5 stop so you can see the effect if there's any uh, color uh, shift. Let's look at it. Now I'm testing if there is some kind of color shift with the VND. I'm on one stop and then I'm turning slowly to see if I see some kind of color shift. Two stops, still okay, three stops. And here, I think from three and a half, four, it becomes warmer. As you can see, I've got, I'm on automatic exposure, I guess so it compensates itself, okay? Takes a bit of time, okay? I think from three and a half, it becomes a bit warmer, okay? So in that part is not completely true color. I go back to one stop. Let's wait for the exporter to uh, also adjust. Okay, so this is greener, cooler, and then on five stops, this is warmer. Okay. Honestly, I think one to five stop is too little. Uh, the aperture on an iPhone cannot be changed. So right now it's really sunny, and five stop is too little too short but i do believe that freewell will uh, make more filters because they send me three they actually have more than that okay so i think they will probably get a three to nine stop or something like this which which would be logical when you have a really bright situation okay but still you see the way it works that's nice now let's look at the mist filter that gives this uh, diffusion romantic or mystery or whatever you want to call it diffusion filter let's look at it so now let's test uh, the mist filter here no filter Okay, let's get it there. And yes, we do see the mist effect that gives this uh, glowy, uh, romantic or mysterious, however you want to call it, without and with, okay? I do not see any color shift, okay? So, as you can see, this uh, set of filters is great. You can already work with it. It's really, uh, really easy to place, to remove. You don't have to change anything. It's a lot faster than screwing anything on it. This is, I really love it. Really nice system, okay? Now let's look at something I really love. 
the anamorphic lens. I just love the way it works. Actually, this lens, you already saw it on one of my videos because the first video I recorded this year, I'll leave you a link here, I recorded with this, with, with really this panoramic look, anamorphic, okay? This will give you two things. Uh, this cinema look in the way it's uh, really wide and second, it gives some uh, flare that are really uh, strong, really uh, strong lines. In anamorphic, they exist like three types of flare, blue, gold, and silver. Silver is really rare because you don't really notice it, so people don't really like it. So this is why actually uh, uh, Free Will has two versions, the blue uh, flare and the gold flare, golden flare, okay? I've got the blue one, okay? But when you buy, you can pick the one you want, okay? Second, a big difference with other anamorphic lenses I've presented, this one has something that is fantastic that it includes the filters, uh, ND filters you may need to record, okay? So let's have a look. You don't have to buy them separately, okay? So when you open the kit, here you have this nice kit here. You have the lens itself, and then you have five filters. A UV filter, actually uh, sensors nowadays are protected against UV, U, uh, ultraviolet uh, ray, so you don't actually need it, but it does pr protect your lens, so I think this is why they place it. Okay, anyway, they put it. Second, you have three, uh, four ND filters from ND8 to ND64, which is six tops. Honestly, I wish they had ND7, 8, 9, and maybe 10, because as I explained with VND, maybe you get short uh, when it's really bright, but I do believe that uh, they will probably uh, produce uh, more ND filters for this system, okay? Uh, because this is, the idea is something that grows, okay? So, to place your uh, uh, lens it's really easy you cannot go wrong it's impossible to go wrong here you have a bayonet here you have two different sides here so it's impossible to go wrong you just place it the right way here okay speaking and showing at the same time is hard then you turn and then it's fixed okay that's it if you want ch to change filter you just unscrew the filter that's on okay and you place another filter very easy. One question is, can I stack filters? No, you cannot stack filters. You can put, you have to put directly the one you need. But there is a simple reason for that. You cannot stack ND filters, okay? Because, uh, well, uh, that maybe could be a problem, okay? Doesn't mean yet at all, okay? But you cannot place mist filter, uh, circular polarizer, other VND, you cannot place them on it. But there is a really simple reason. I think uh, Freewell made the right decision. When you want uh, this uh, flare effect, you need to have uh, as less things in front of the lens as possible. If you place a mist filter on top, that will kill the flare. If you place uh, a VND that is actually a two polarizer, that will probably uh, kill the reflection and also kill the flare, okay? So this is really logical. They have this system that places only one uh, filter on it, okay? I would think about it, ask them, if I was right when thinking that, and they say, yeah, you're right, this is the reason, okay? So, okay, so if anyone tells you, yeah, you cannot stack, that's the reason, okay. Second, uh, when you actually record with an amorphic lens, it makes a really wide panorama, but obviously it, pre it compresses everything, squeezes everything on the sensor. So if you want to have a, this look, you need to de-squeeze. Your native app will not do it. Two reasons. First, uh, the native app by uh, iPhone doesn't support uh, anamorphic. Second, on any phone, not just uh, iPhone, also uh, Android, normally if you place a, len a lens on top of your, in front of your camera, it covers the other cameras and that gives problem because all these phones are actually using all three cameras. Even if you select just one uh, camera, it actually uses three of them so after you can uh, reframe or whatever, you have several possibilities. This is why they actually use all the cameras. You cannot cover them, okay? So from the second you place a lens on your smartphone, you need to use a third party app. For video, actually use Filmic Pro. Why? Two reasons. First, because it supports to have lenses in front of it. And also because it de-squeeze uh, automatically. So I can have directly the way it will look uh, finished, you know? Uh, the uh, really panor big panorama, and I don't have to do any post-production, whatever. It does it directly. I see it properly on my screen. This is uh, when recording and once recorded, it's already disqueezed. So this is perfect, okay? Second, uh, anamorphic gives a lot of problem. Not this one, any anamorphic gives problem with IBIS, with stabilization, okay? 
So you must deactivate the stabilization on your app. In Filmic Pro, there is option to put it off. So you won't have this uh, really uh, strange uh, uh, movement in the back. Uh, uh, when it moves like this, really strange, you won't have it. Obviously, this is a problem if you want to walk without any uh, stabilization, it will move. So this, in this case, you should use a big gimbal. We're going to look at this just after, okay? If it supports a gimbal, okay? or if a gimbal supports it, okay? So we'll look at it. But right now, I'll leave you some sample I've recorded with this anamorphic lens, so you have uh, a bit the idea of how wide it is and also the flare it gives, okay? Well, it all depends on the gimbal you're going to use. If you have a, just for smartphone, a smartphone and camera, then that's no problem. If it's just for smartphone, that like my uh, DJI Osmo uh, 6, the motors are on the limits, but I still manage to make it work, okay? Uh, that's a spoiler alert. It works, okay? To uh, balance the, the weight, okay? So let's have a look at it. Okay, as you have a lot of weight here, it's important that you move the center of gravity the closest to the lens, okay? So the support, you should place it really close, but even this way, it will not balance, okay? So I've got something I already uh, had with my Osmo 3 because I had the same problem. I put it on AliExpress, which is this counterweight. You just screw it here. There's a small screw here to place it here. And this way it will balance, okay? So now I'm going to show you how it balances and show you some results with gimbal. So, as you can see, this is placed really close to the lens. I've got the counterweight here. And as you can see, it does uh, balance. It uh, doesn't move, it, that's fine. It does work, the gimbal. I'm going to record right now in slow motion, okay? So you have a look. Okay, like this, this way, okay. Now I'm going to go towards the sun. Go up. <laughs> Actually, didn't put the ND uh, six stop. I should have put. Uh, I think I put the four stop on it. This is too much light anyway. But for the purpose of the demo, you see that uh, that works. Okay. One thing that is really, really positive, I've not noticed any vignetting at any time. Not on the filters. Not on the anamorphic lens. This is something I've criticized on other brands that sometimes there's a bit of vignetting. In this case, no vignetting at all. So this is a really, a really, really, really good point. So my conclusion, well, I've got a lot of notes, but I think I've said everything. Uh, well, two things. I hope Freewell will, uh, I hope, I'm sure Freewell will create more filters because I think ND64 and five stops on the, on the independent filters is a bit short. So please create more filters, okay? Uh, second, uh, if you're interested, you don't have to buy the whole thing. If you uh, just want the filters, uh, magnetic filters, that's fine. If you just want the uh, anamorphic lens, it's also possible. So maybe you want the full thing, but this is, don't have to get everything, okay? So uh, if you're just interested in one part, that's fine, okay? I'll, give, I'll leave you the link in the description where you can get them, okay? So my impression on, uh, honestly, I think this is a great kit that some people don't really want to carry a full set of uh, lenses and cameras and all this. And they just want to go around with their uh, smartphone, their iPhone 13 series or 14 series. That's fine. And they can still do a great job with this kind of uh, accessories, uh, whether it's a cinema look or uh, just uh, filters for uh, photography or video, or whatever, okay? So I think this is great, doesn't use a lot of space, and I think the quality is there. This is really nice, okay? So, yeah, I think this is completely recommendable. Uh, if you look at uh, the color shift, yeah, there is no, it's true color, okay? But on the VND, I think from three and a half stop, you do see a, a light color shift, so you have to take it into account. Maybe that's a problem for you, maybe not, depends what you do, okay? If you do a panning, maybe that's a problem, okay? so. It depends, okay? So, but the rest is 
really fine, really nice. So yeah, 100% yes, I recommend it. So thank you so much Freewell for sending me uh, this shirt packet. Thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The small button down here, a so small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any questions, can leave a comment below. Also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links of everything I reviewed by Kev Concept and flashes by Westcott, and also, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you so much, take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.